everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I look like a floating head right now, but that's okay because it's October. I'm excited because this is one of my favorite months, like this whole holiday season is just my favorite out of the year. This is gonna be my very first Halloween look for this month and I'm super excited because I want to jump into a lot of fun things this month, especially because it's Halloween my favorite month. I'm coming up on a year of my YouTube channel and the Halloween season is like my thing. Like I love Halloween and I love doing Halloween looks, special effects videos, body painting, stuff like that. But this is going to be the first of many this month so I hope you guys are ready and I feel like I could just like ramble and ramble this whole intro but we're just going to go ahead and jump right in because I'm excited. I know y'all are excited. And I just want to get into it because I'm already in Halloween mood and spooky season mood, so yeah. Today I'm going to be doing like, I don't know how it's going to go yet. I want to do a pumpkin look, but I have a few ideas in my head and I just kind of feel like we're just going to see what happens. We're going to roll with it and see how it comes out. I hope it comes out great because if not, I'm going to be in white, but trust the process. <laughs> So what I want to do first is take this palette right here. It's by Joanne's Beauty, and this is her Valentino palette. I think we're going to go in with this yellow right here. I just want to put this in the crease and just blend it up. So I'm super excited for this month because it is Halloween month, and even though Halloween is falling on a Wednesday, I think this year it's Wednesday, right? Um, I don't know, I still want to really celebrate Halloween this entire month. I like to stay at home and like watch movies and like stuff like that. You'd still eat candy or like, I don't know, bake something, uh, who knows, but probably, it's probably what I'm going to do this month is just like stay in and watch a bunch of scary movies and I love that. But I'm excited for this month because like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, um, I started my channel on October 8th. That was when I uploaded my very first YouTube video. October 8th is also Joseph and I's anniversary. This year we are going to be 8 years. And I wanted to do a lot of cool interesting videos for you guys here on my channel. Just because I feel like, why not? Like, this is the best time to take advantage of that. Like the only time you really get to get crazy with your makeup, you know? So really quick, that yellow was a little too bright for me. Like it's not as dark as I would want. So I'm gonna go in with this yellow from my Morphe 35B palette. I'm planning on doing a lot more Halloween looks. I want to try to upload three videos a week. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, I'm gonna try my very best to do that, but I definitely want to get up a lot of videos for you guys because a lot of people have asked me like what products to use for certain looks or you know how they would do it or um, stuff like that and I just felt like you know why not make videos and like why not show you guys what I would do with my regular makeup or whatever to create a hobby. Like, I want to do a lot of cool like creative videos and not just like Halloween like scary gory or anything like that that is also going to be in the videos that I do but I want to incorporate more styles so like you know cute looks sexy looks scary looks but also like really out of the box and like artsy look I'm going to be going back into the Valentino palette and picking up this orange shade right here and we're going to pop this right in the crease Yeah, I want to do like really cool, interesting, like art looks, not completely related to Halloween, but I feel like this is the appropriate time to do looks like that, like to wear it out in public and stuff and not have people look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you guys have any ideas of looks that you would be interested in seeing on my channel, or if you are thinking about what you want to be for Halloween already, you just aren't sure how to achieve that look or you know something like that definitely send me some pictures dm me on instagram or you know leave me a comment down below suggesting any looks that you want me to do because i have a few ideas of what i'm going to be doing this month already but i'm so open to what you guys would want to see you know i have some ideas that i would want to do but if you guys have anything in mind of what you would want me to film definitely let me know 
I am very open to suggestions and yeah, I want to know what you guys want to see here on my channel. Next, I'm going to be going in with this red shadow right here. I don't want the red to be overpowering, but I want to make this a little bit brighter. Yeah, because see, like, that was looking like hot Cheeto orange. This is starting to look like pumpkin orange. <laughs> What I'm going to do next is take this beautiful tint shadow palette from Joanne's Beauty and I'm going to be taking this brown right here and we're going to just deepen up the outer corners of the eye. I'll just kind of drag this throughout the center of the crease as well. But I think what I'm going to do is go over this just because I felt like that orange was a little bit lost underneath. So we're going to go back with this orange shade right here and then just pop this right on top. And then I'm going to go back with this yellow really quick and then throw this right above the orange. back in with this brown shade thing right on top of where we placed it. Now here I'm just focused, like I'm tapping this on the corner of my eye. I'm not dragging it or blending or anything like that. I'm literally just tapping it. And then once we're there, I'm just gonna wiggle the brush back and forth. Same on the inner corner, you just wanna tap. And then wiggle. What I'm going to do next, this is the Dark Lust palette and we're going to be dipping into this super dark brown right here. And then just bring this up into the center. You know what, I think I'm actually just going to finish up this eye and then do the same thing to this eye because I feel like if I go back and forth it's just going to take me forever and this video is going to be like an hour long. So I want to deepen that up even more with a black eyeshadow. You can use any black eyeshadow you have for this. You just want to focus this on the very edge, the very far corners of the eye to draw everything to the center. And then to blend, I'm gonna be going back in with this brown right here. And I'm just gonna go right on top of that black. I'm not taking it any higher. I'm just going right on top. And I'm just quickly cutting my crease, focusing this in the center of my eye. And you could totally use any concealer or foundation that you already have for this step. To set our halo in the center, I'm going to be taking the Joann's Beauty 35N7 palette. And I'm going to be dipping into this orange shimmer shade right here. I'm gonna go back in with this super dark brown. If anything, I just like wiggle my brush. Like, I don't really blend or drag, I just tap and wiggle. I'm gonna take this very pretty orange pressed glitter and I'm going to pack that on with the same brush that we use to pack that orange shade. These glitters actually work a lot better like with your fingers, but I just can never get my fingers where I want them, especially when I have like long nails. It never works, so I just use the brush until I'm satisfied. Now once you have that glitter placed, you want to go back in with your black eyeshadow 
and blend out these edges once more. And then you should have something like this. Now what I'm going to do is actually finish the other eye and then I'll come back on camera. I went ahead and added some winged eyeliner and lashes and then just repeated the same steps that I did for the eyeshadow on top to the lower lash line. So I just popped a little bit of glitter right there in the center to match the lid. Now we're going to move on to the fun part which is the actual mouth pumpkin part. <laughs> I'm going to be using my Snazaroo face and body paint. This is the orange color, obviously. <laughs> Literally just take some water and spray it on there. I'm going to be taking this really small, like, domed brush, and we're going to dip that into this. Hmm. I'm trying to think of where exactly I want this to go. Just to get an even tone of orange on my face, I want to use a beauty blender into my face paint, and then I'm just gonna dab this all over. I look freaking psycho. <laughs> I think we're gonna make it bigger. So I'm actually gonna take it a little higher. Okay, I think I like that a lot better. So basically all I'm doing for this step is just taking some black eyeliner, I'm using the NYX black eyeliner, and you just want to map out exactly where you want everything to go, so the eyes, the nose, and then of course the mouth. It's totally up to your personal preference on how you want your pumpkin to look if you want to make him scarier or not, but I literally just mapped out little triangles for the mouth and I just felt like this was the easiest. And it's cool if it's a little sloppy because we're going to be filling this in with some paint so you can fix that later. What I'm going to do before we fill these in with black is add shading to give the pumpkin dimension. We're going to test out this brown eyeshadow and see if it picks up on the orange. Oh, I think this looks good. I just use this like flat smudge brush for the shading and I start off by doing a vertical line from my nose down to my chin and then on the sides of the pumpkin I make the shadows curve that way it gives the illusion that the pumpkin is a three-dimensional form and not just flat on my face. This is what's going to bring our pumpkin to life and the reason that I did this before I filled in everything else was because I kind of feel like you can go over these lines and you have a little more freedom to mess them up because we are going to be fixing them when we fill it in later so it just makes it easier on you now. And to prevent these lines from looking super harsh, I went over them with some orange eyeshadow to help them blend out. Um, this is just going to make it look more realistic, more believable. If you have a really harsh line, it could be a little bit distracting. Once you're comfortable with the blending, we're going to take our black face paint and an angled eyebrow brush. I do end up switching brushes because this one was a little bit too big, but you can use any eyebrow angled brush that you have and you just want to start filling in all the shapes. Now with the eyes, I am going to be making them bigger a little bit later, but it's always better to start off small because you can adjust with that. If you go in too big, it's kind of hard to take away. But yeah, it's super easy, self-explanatory. You just want to go within the lines and then anywhere that you feel like there was a mistake, it's easy to just kind of go over and adjust with your face paint. 
if you feel like you do struggle with this step a little bit you could always kind of like go back with orange face paint and clean up around the mouth if you kind of got out of some of the lines a little bit it's not that hard to fix you just get a small detail brush and you know just clean up those lines and if you feel like the black isn't dark enough you can always go in with a second coat once it dries Next we're going to be working on the stem of the pumpkin with this light brown eyeshadow and a flat eyeshadow brush and you just want to start with a rectangular shape. At first it's almost kind of like contouring your nose but you're just going to add two thin lines on the side and then cut it off at the top. Feel free to, you know, make your stem however you would want it to look. I just felt like this was really simple, really easy. For a little more dimension, you just want to go in with a darker brown eyeshadow and just focus this on the perimeter of the stem. I wanted to bring some of that darker brown to the pumpkin, so I just added like a few small patches on the lines that I did. Not the entire line, just a few because I felt like that just added some more depth. I took this super thin brush next and just outlined the entire pumpkin and added a few details throughout the lines that I made. Next we're going to be using this light brown shade from the Valentino palette and I'm taking just a flat eyeshadow brush and going all the way around this pumpkin. I feel like this helps make it look more like a three dimensional form and like it's sitting on top of the face, not that it's like one with the face, you know? Because I do want this to look like a mask, so I want it to look like it's sitting above my face. And once I place that shadow, I also go in with a larger fluffy brush just to blend it out even more. Now because this is a mask, we need to add the straps. So I'm taking that very thin brush again and my black face paint and I'm literally just drawing lines from the pumpkin all the way to my ear, kind of where a normal strap would go if I was wearing a mask. And I felt like two straps looked better than one so I just put another one underneath my ear. And then to fill in those straps, I'm going in with this gold shade from the Dark Lust palette and I just sprayed my brush with some Fix Plus and then we're gonna fill it in. Now this shadow is super metallic. I was not expecting it to look as good as it did. It was just such a beautiful shiny gold color. I kind of felt like I was looking a little ghost so I added some bronzer just to warm up my face. And then of course on the other side we went ahead and just drew the lines the same way the best I could to match the other side. In the same way that we shaded around the pumpkin, I'm using that same brown eyeshadow to shade underneath the straps. This is also just going to give them that three-dimensional feel. In order to make these straps pop, I feel like it's so necessary to outline them with some black eyeliner. I just felt like the eyeliner was easier to use than the body paint, but I also do this step to outline the pumpkin again, just because I feel like the eyeliner is a little bit darker than the body paint, so it just helps it pop a little bit more. Okay, so my battery ended up dying, <laughs> but while it died, I went ahead and killed some time by doing my hair, and then I also added these details on the straps to give it more of a strap effect. <laughs> I gave it a little buckle, some holes, and I don't know, that's just like a random little detail. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that on this side, and I just used my NYX eyeliner. This is super simple. I basically just draw a rectangle kind of like at an angle to match the strap and then I just connect the rectangle with two lines on the top and the bottom. And you don't want to forget that little like metal thing. I don't know what that's called but it like holds your belt in place. You want to add that and then also add the three little dots after the strap. 
same thing for the bottom I just did another rectangle just making the lines a lot closer so it's a lot smaller and lastly I went ahead and filled in the eyes again because the face paint was cracking a little bit that's the only downfall about using this Nazaru face paints is that they do crack but it's okay because you could easily just go right on top of the paint and it's brand new but yeah, that pretty much completes this look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually really enjoyed filming this tutorial for it being my first Halloween tutorial this year. I'm super excited for this entire month of October. But yeah, I hope you guys loved this video and I hope you're looking forward to all of the Halloween looks that I have coming soon for you guys. Like I said, I'm going to be uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, I'm going to try to upload three times a week, every week. I'm setting a goal for myself. Um, hold me accountable to that. If you want to see another video, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments telling me what you thought about this look and if you are so excited about Halloween because I am. Let me know if you guys want to see any specific looks on my channel. If you don't feel like leaving a comment or anything like that, you could totally go to my Instagram. I'll leave it linked right here. And you could definitely DM me, send me pictures of the looks that you want me to create or anything that you just feel like you're inspired by and you would want to see on my channel. If you don't want to miss out on my future videos to come, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well. That way you're notified every single time that I upload and you won't miss a single Halloween video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Happy Halloween!